Hi there everybody, my name is Gavin and today we'll be making this simple radar system for your game where you'll have a player that you can move around, some enemies that chase you and a radar system uh, up the top right hand side of your screen that shows you where all the enemies are on your map. So let's begin. So to start with, let's create a player object. We'll just right click on the objects folder, go to create and object and we'll type in the player name which is obj player. Uh, we'll also create an enemy object, so we'll right click create object obj enemy. Uh, we're going to need a camera object, so right click create object obj camera. And we're going to need a radar object, so right clicking object and obj radar. And these are all the objects we're going to need in our game. So uh, we've got a room here already set up for us. I'm just going to name that room rm room one. Now you don't really need to do that, but I just like to name my new, uh, name my rooms uh, consistently like that. So uh, if I right click on the sprites folder, we're going to create a sprite. Uh, and this is for our player, we'll just call it SPR player. Uh, and we're going to edit that sprite that we've just created there. And we're going to make that sprite green. Um, it's just a simple little block, basically uh, a green block for our sprite there, for our character. Uh, if I right click and create a second sprite, uh, and this is going to be for the enemy. Um, and we'll just edit that and I'll make that one red. So quite simple stuff. Um, for each of these, I'm just gonna make sure that the origin is set to the middle center and that just keeps everything on track in our game. So nice and easy stuff. Um, we'll go to our player. I'm gonna assign that green one to our player object. I'm gonna go to our enemy. We're gonna assign the red one to our enemy object. Uh, we'll go to the room. Um, I'm gonna drag our player in. And I'm going to actually alter the size of the dimensions of our room because we want a nice big room. Um, because if our room was just the size of our uh, screen, then there wouldn't be much of a point in having a radar. So we need it. We need a nice big screen, a nice big room rather, uh, to take full advantage of a radar system. So we'll make it 4,000 by 4,000. That's pretty big. Um, and I'm just going to drag our character there to the center of the room. doesn't really matter where he is, but that just keeps it nice and easy. And then I'm going to drag a few enemy objects around the player like that. So pretty straightforward stuff. We'll just a few more. One here, one there. That's all well and good. So now if I run the game at the moment, uh, let's see, we've got... <clears throat> You know, a few enemies that aren't doing much in a, and a dot in the middle which is you so it's a start but we need to add a few more bits and pieces so let's do that um, now we probably want our enemies chasing the player that's quite an easy thing to do so we'll just double click on our enemy object we'll go add event and it's a step event and we just want to type in move towards point and then we'll go obj player.x obj player.y let's move this across so you can see what's going on um, and we need a speed so we'll just say two for now that's all right um, and then basically we just want to have a player control set so if we right click on uh, our events and go add event you know, step event step and I've already sort of built this project, so I'm actually just going to copy and paste in what I've already written. Uh, save me typing it out and you listening to my clicky keys. So uh, these are just four simple commands that, that check whether you're pressing the up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow, and then just change the X and Y coordinates accordingly. So what does that give us? Well, let's have a look if I run the game now. Uh, we've got a pretty simple screen uh, some enemies moving around, uh, nothing too fancy, but it works. Um, now, I'm going to change the camera size because things aren't really fitting on the screen at the moment the way we'd like. Um, and for the purposes of this video, I'll keep the resolution pretty small, but you can make it whatever resolution you like for your game. So for that, we just want to go to the room uh, here and we're going to drop this down 
under viewports and cameras and enable viewports and we're going to go to viewport zero which is the first uh, and then we're just going to type in uh, 1280 by 720 which is 720p so 1280 720 um, let's make sure that's actually uh, that is 720p um, yeah and so now if I run the game uh, we'll have let's go on here did that work an enormous screen ah oh, I have to click visible there we go <laughs> That'll help us out. So now we've got a re reasonably sized screen, but we don't see what's going on because we need a camera to be centered on the player. So if we go to the camera object and um, uh, we just go to the create event, we're going to add a create event and we'll just, I'm going to just copy in and paste in again some stuff I've written earlier. So, so what is this? This is just grabbing the, the width of our GUI layer. And it's important to understand there's a difference between the, the width of the room and the width of the window that we're working in, which is the GUI layer uh, for the purposes of, the, of this tutorial. So okay. let's uh, declare those. Uh, so we've got a display width, display height. We need to add a step event. So I'm going to add that in there. And in the step event, we're just doing quite a simple thing here. Uh, we're just basically saying, right, uh, let's set the camera position. And what are we setting it to? We're setting it to the um, position of our player. If I run the game now. Uh, what do we got? We don't have anything again because I have to put the camera in the room. So let's do that. So I'll drag this guy into the room. And just so that you can actually see what's going on, I'll make that a bit bigger. So put it up the top left there so it's easy to follow. Let's run the game again. All right, so now we've got a player in the center of the room, but we don't see any enemies. There's an enemy, I can move around. Uh, and the camera follows me and the enemies are surrounding me there. That's great. But it's a little bit hard to see what's going on. So I'm just gonna create a sprite to represent the background here. So I'll just call that one SPR background. Gonna edit that real quick. And I'm just gonna, I'm just actually going to, I'm clicking everywhere now. Uh, we'll just make a little simple checker grid. You don't have to do this for your project, so don't feel like you have to follow along exactly, but if you'd like to create a checker grid, that is totally fine with me. So let's just do that one there, that one there, that there, that there. It's a simple checker grid. And we need to set that to the room. So let's go to our room and to the background and we need to set the sprites. Let's choose SPR background. We need to make sure that's tiled across the top and tiled vertically. So now we've got a nice checker background for our game. Let's run that now. And what do we have? We've got, yeah, pretty cool little block moving around on a checker background. There's some enemies coming towards us. So we're getting there. We're getting closer to a radar system that we'd like. So let's have a look at that now. So if I go to our radar object, now I know already that we're gonna need that in our game. So let's just put that in our game, oops. And we wanna make sure we're on the right layer before we do that. So drag that in while we're on the right layer. Uh, we'll just make that a bit bigger as well so we can see it's on the screen. Otherwise we'll lose track of where it is. It just helps us know what's going on there. So now we'll go to our radar code. And in our radar code, we're gonna need a few lines. And again, I've already typed these, so I'll, I'll just copy and paste those in here. Let's have a look. So again, we're just grabbing the GUI width uh, and assigning that to a variable. And we're grabbing a GUI height and we're assigning that to a variable as well. And then we're saying, okay, well, we want the position, we wanna set the position of where the radar is on the screen. Well, where's that gonna be? Well, I want it to be 85% across the screen uh, and 25% down from the screen. So I just times it by 0 0.85 and that's 85% and 0 0.25, which is 25%. So that'll give us something that's to the top right hand side of the screen basically. And you can play around with these numbers so you can see what I mean. But anything between zero and one will give you a, a result within the screen uh, there and then this here is the sides of our radar that we're going to be using uh, for the top right hand side so now I'm going to right click we're going to add a draw GUI uh, event there and again I'm just going to copy and paste in some stuff that I wrote earlier um, 
And so what are we doing? So the top part of our code is basically just saying, well, uh, we're redeclaring a lot of the variables that we already have here. And why are we doing that, you might ask. Well, uh, part of the reason we're doing it is because we want to uh, have these in a local scope. And what does that mean? It, it means that uh, for this segment of code, these variables become relevant and only in this segment of code. And it also means that we can pass variables to other objects um, within our code here. So that's kind of important. So you might think, oh, I'll just delete this, you know, that it'll be fine. I've got them over here, and here no worries. Well, no, nah, that's not gonna work. So we really need those there. Oops, I've gone and stuffed all that up. I'll just paste it all back in, there we go. Um, now, underneath that, we've got some uh, drawing events. So what is this doing? Well, this is just saying, let's have half an alpha. What's half an alpha? That just means 50% transparency, so 0.5. And then we're drawing a, a circle to the top right hand side of the screen because that's where our center origin is based on what we set up here. Um, and uh, it's going to be at the sides of our radar. So circle up the top right hand side at 150 radius. So pretty, pretty easy stuff. And that's going to be a white circle. Then we're going to set it back to full transparency so that everything else we draw is normal. Then we're going to say, right, well, um, uh, what are we doing now? We're going to draw another circle in the middle and that that will just represent the player and where the player is on the radar. So now for the good stuff. So we've got this code here, which is with enemy. Now we're basically, when we do this, we're basically controlling our enemy objects. And from each enemy object on the screen, we're doing this code. Uh, and this code is basically just writing some information uh, to our radar, uh, or drawing some, drawing a dot on our radar, basically. Um, so anyway, let's have a look here. So we've got, uh, you know, th look, I, this took me probably 15 minutes to sit through and figure out exactly how to do. Um, it's a little bit tricky to step through, but to, to basically give you the gist of it, we're, we're figuring out the X and Y coordinates of our enemy objects and then we're figuring out the relative uh, position uh, to to the GUI layer to the to the to the size of the window um, in relation to our player object uh, and that's what X and Y becomes it basically says what what's the X and Y of our enemy object uh, on the top right hand side of the screen uh, where it should be um, hopefully that made sense but you, you know, just step through it. It will make sense if you just read through that. Um, it's a little bit lengthy, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, and then we're basically saying, right, well, if it's within the circle, uh, if it's within the radius circle on the top right hand side where we want it to be, then you can draw these these dots in um, for, to represent each of the enemies on the radar. So, so there we go. Now, if I run the game, uh, let's have a look here. Da, da, da. All right. I uh, can move around. Do we see an enemy? Hey, there's some enemies on our radar. So that's all working as expected. Um, you can play around with a lot of the numbers and figures here to get a bigger or smaller radar or reposition the radar. So just for example's sake, and I won't spend too much time here, but if I just want to say I want a great big radar uh, right in the middle of the screen, and goodness knows why anybody would want that, but let's have a go at doing it well hey there it is it's right in the middle of the screen that's working pretty well for us so that's great um, or I could do it you know let's say uh, bottom bottom left hand side of the screen and we we'll have a we'll have sort of a smaller smaller size radar down there and there it is and I can move around here and, and it doesn't work too well because it's pretty tiny but um, yeah it's, it's it does the job doesn't it so that's basically it so all right then well uh, Thanks very much for watching this tutorial. I hope that was useful to you. Uh, if it was, please like and subscribe and leave a comment and any questions you have, I'll try and see if I can answer them for you. Uh, have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.